as often I pleat the broader lace on the inside so you immediately hide the searcher seam. Hello everyone. In this video I make this rug out of all vintage laces. I'm Marjolein Turin, designer of Somnia Romantica. Here you can see some of my work. Kind of disclaimer, I'm a small independent fashion designer living for my fashion designs. Please do not copy my designs. Seeing it as inspiration is absolutely okay though. And note, this is a peek over my shoulder, it's not a tutorial. I'm self-taught and I work in an unconventional and often intuitive way. So I hope you can enjoy or learn something from these videos. To support the content of this channel, you can join me on Patreon. Link is in the description or click on the link to the video in the upper right corner. Hi. Uh, yeah, this will be more a vlog style video of me uh, making a shirt out of vintage laces. I've got this lovely vintage lace from a uh, store in Tilburg. It has some flaws in it. Here you can see there's a sticker. It always warns for flaws, but this one you can't really miss. Yeah, so I have to cut around that. I'm going to do two shrugs of this fabric, but I will show one. I think this is a nice place for this one. Do you even see this? <laughs> okay. Adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do the sleeve here. I don't want to compromise too much on the shape I was going for. So I will have to cut this off and use it for another project. I really like to work with flaws in fabrics and build the pattern around it so I do not waste any fabric but this is not entirely a sleeve and it's more for parts of a bodice so I know what to do I will do one with a sleeve type that falls open from just below the elbow I think I found something. I found this one too yellow. I love this lace, but it's just yeah, too yellow, too warm beige. What do I have here? This a pretty good match. Oh. And this one doable. Oh yeah, this is nice. I'm going to do this one. And this will be here, and this will be here with. This! Look. It's cute. So, not this one, sorry. I'm going to use it mainly in heavily pleated version when I separate this midline. Wrinkles. There's the hand steamer again. Get it with a bit of room. A fender even. It's in the Netherlands now, it's like, hello, I'm autumn. The lots of drizzling rain and grayness. I'm going to use this one for the light ones. So onto the sewing machine. Lolo, lolo. And it still has got green and black thread, so we're going to do something about it. So here is the searching machine, and we are first going to pin the mid of these biceps parts. 
This is the good side. It's hard to see, but there's slightly more detailing in this side. This is the bodice, and this is uh, the sides of the bodice. Then do the, the neckline. And then the shoulder parts and the back of the neck. The sleeves these are open sleeves so this is the side where it gets attached to the uh, mid arm part and this is the part the flared part Hmm, my camera is a bit high up, but okay, that's experimental. You can let me know if you like that or that you think like, well, I don't see anything. Please change it. Here we have a big roll of vintage lace. New day and we are at the sewing machine. This is one of the sleeves. This is the good side. This is the inside. Up a, pick up the lace, lovely broad vintage lace. As often I pleat the broader lace on the inside so you immediately hide the searcher seam. Pick, picking each time the same part, just where this dimple is and there I pick it and fold it and pleat it until the point of this flower over here and here I'm in the mid so here it's a little different I'll just make it symmetrical here I go the other way around so then I pick this dimple and go to this a little over make the same size of pleat. It's exactly the right length. I estimated that, but you can never know for sure. And then we have this lace, and I have to be very careful with this lace because it's also vintage and here and there it has got flaws. It's about it's all vintage this. Mostly from uh, the 80s and 90s. You hear that? That's the machine saying you're out of lower thread. Always I have to be extremely careful that with my finger I am pushing this fabric in this direction so it won't fold otherwise when you sew it goes like this and if something is annoying is doing this whole round of lace 
testing everything and then discovering that you made all these funny faults. So it's when I'm pleating this this way, so against the stream, I make sure that it lays flat by pressing my fingers. My parents-in-law are now babysitting my son, so they may come party crashing at any moment and then I have to stop. So, that's that sleeve. Then we have the bodice. We pick the bigger lace again, but uh, give it an extra plea. Because I think that looks nicer around the neckline. So. And then this is the outside, and here we pleat the other legs. This morning I went to the wholesale. I took my son with me, I was afraid he would find it terrible, he's three and a half years old and actually he really liked it. It has a lot of narrow long alleys stuffed with laces and ribbons and zippers and name it all and he just played hide and seek and uh, was entertaining everyone. So uh, yeah, that went well. We have a lot of awesome wholesales in the Netherlands and they all, the, nah, the last 10 years many went online but there are also many that are still entirely offline. When you google their website it's like a phone number and an address. But if you ever visit the Netherlands and you want to know some uh, advice for uh, retail places to be for lace, then just mail me and I'll let you know. Now I'm putting the armpit part, <laughs> not sure how to call that, so, uh, of the bodice and of the uh, uh, sleeve together, sleeve just behind the seam of the bodice. Until here, and this is the whole puff sleeve, this is the shoulder, mid shoulder, this is the amount that needed, needs to be pleated away. Make sure that amount is divided between the front and the back.
And here I was a wee bit too enthusiastic with the, where I started the searcher. I always work by daylight because nothing beats genuine daylight, not even daylight lamps. To see the difference between the threads and the uh, structure of the fabric, you really need good light. With a table not in front of a window, I really encourage you to, do, to move it, but if you are in the position to do it. And now I will pleat this part, it will go onto the sleeve, this is the sleeve. And here is the other one. So, back to the sewing machine. Now we will pick this bodice. Here we go. Hello. So cute. Yeah. These laces are so cute. Okay. Don't, don't you want me? Um. Yeah. There you go. I forgot the camera was on. Was on, and now I start singing. Um. Yeah, this happy puddle <laughs> is a shrug. I'm putting out the washing machine and I'm picking up some roses. Then my son and parents-in-law came home. I was just done in time. I attached their little roses and this is the end result. I'm showing it from all angles. That's it. Let me know if you wish to see more content like this. You can also drop other questions or comments. Likes and subscriptions are always much appreciated. They help me grow and make more content. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.